just different nomenclatures but what i'm just trying to tell you is to write a convincing statement hello you're welcome back today to my channel let me start by apologizing because i promised i was going to give an update or if i remember something that i missed in my previous video which the link is on my description box where i talked about application i was going to update you guys but you know what <laughs> having time to do so many things these days is so hard <laughs> you barely do things at your own time you're no longer in control of your time because there are so many things you have classes from monday to friday you have work to attend to you have other things to do like it's so scattered plus the new environment so getting things done is actually hard and then maybe you decide you're going to record video today and then you come back you're so tired like today just coming back from the lectures and i'm so tired it ended around 6 pm and then it the time it to take me to leave school and come back home oh god but finally today because i've been postponing <laughs> i'm postponing when i'm going to do it but today i finally decided that i'm going to update you there are four documents i would like to mention that i missed out in my previous videos and the first and the winger of it all is statement of purpose that statement of purpose the document that you can never miss like is is one of the main things <laughs> it's one of the main documents you have to provide it's one of the main documents you have to provide statement of purpose is just like motivation statement or statement of purpose that's sop this is just different nomenclatures but what i'm just trying to tell you is to write a convincing statement that will make school to give you admission because you're going for your master's and probably if you studied course a and you want to go into course b you should write a convincing statement that you know what you're doing and this is the reason you want to study course b like i studied chemical engineering in my first degree and in my master's i went for data science now when i was writing my sop I don't just have to write, hey, I want to study data science in your school, no. Relate it, let it connect from what you studied before, projects or things that you've done before, and this is why you think, or maybe experiences you've garnered over the years, and this is what is propelling you to study the next course. So it goes like that. Take your time, you write, you can go online, Google about SOP and Google about the course you are going to study and then check the link from the course you want to study to what you were studying before or what you studied before and make check your experiences, gather information and then write. It's just like a pager, just write something that is convincing. The second and one is immunization card. Now there are some jobs, especially care jobs that you want to apply and they'll ask you for your immunization card. You know immunization card, that card that our mom marked in the hospital, that small card in the hospital that she marked when she gave birth, they'll mark, okay, you've taken polio, you've taken the uh, chicken pus, others, that small card. You could get that and scan and just have it handy there are some jobs especially if you have a mind you're going to do care job you should have it it's not all the care job that asks for it but there are some care job that will require it especially if you're going to care job nhs most times they ask for immunization card another one is police check so there's this police check certificates that you should have or you should request for if you're coming to the uk i think other countries also request for it but i know that when i was coming i actually got it it's not expensive i think your headquarters in lagos they're the one that do that or you could check online how you can apply for police check certificate they just to clear you that you, that you don't have any case or any conviction or whatever so they just clear you give you a certificate because most times some employers here ask for it and then the last document i would like to mention today is driver's license now if you're driving in nigeria and you have in mind that you want to drive in the uk you could actually get international driver's license it's usually valid for 12 months that is one year so you could have that while you're waiting for your provisional license in the uk so that is that for these four documents thank you till next time just stay safe goodbye